Medical Watch for you this afternoon, sparing patients with diabetes from amputation. We want to warn you, there is an image in this story that may be disturbing. WGN medical reporter Dina Baer has more on how local doctors are pushing the envelope when it comes to saving limbs. They're actually piecing patients back together. Orthopedic surgeons at Loyola Medicine are reconstructing limbs other surgeons won't touch. And this one, beautiful. It's awesome. God, it's like rock solid. Look at that. Thing. I know, it is rock solid. What now it looks like a healthy, normal there. foot was once dangerously deformed. Pam had something called Charcot, um, which is a, essentially a disease that diabetics or patients with neuropathy get that can cause you know, severe deformity in their feet. This graphic photo shows the damage, a bone protruding through the skin. Yet Pam Mirable had no idea as she hobbled along on a family trip. My brother said to me, there's something coming out the bottom of your foot. I don't know what's going on, but you need to see a doctor. The loss of nerves to the skin meant the 64-year-old with type 1 diabetes didn't feel any pain, even as her condition progressed to the brink of amputation. So the shape of her foot uh, was almost that of a rocker. It, it was rounded on the bottom, and it was rubbing, so the bone and the ground were essentially making contact, and it just essentially wore a hole in the skin. Pam needed immediate treatment but she was headed home to South Africa for a long-planned visit. For safety, her Loyola Medicine orthopedic surgeon casted her foot with the promise she'd have it monitored by foreign health care providers during her trip. And they changed the cast, and they took one look at my foot and said, if you were still here, we'd amputate. There's 80% chance we would amputate this foot. So I thought, well, thank goodness I live in America. <laughs> Dr. Adam Schiff says he and his team have spared 500 patients with diabetes from amputation, cases other doctors won't touch. The process starts by rebuilding damaged bones that have collapsed. Essentially, there is no arch. It's, it's totally flat. The entire middle of the foot collapsed. And it was rubbing, so the bone and the ground were essentially making contact, and it just essentially wore a hole in the skin. Dr. Schiff reconstructed an arch in Pam's foot then applied a heavy metal structure to support healing. When I woke up, I had a halo all the way from the knee down and probably about 40, 50 stitches in my foot. Like a scaffold, the external fixator, along with pins and wires, held the bones in the proper position as they healed. Pam wore the device for three months, a long road to recovery, but better than the alternative, a lifetime without a foot. You can see there's a little scar here. This was a big hole in her foot. This is where bone was sticking out of her foot. So you could see bone through that whole, entire hole here. People don't need to lose their feet anymore. The grateful patient who recently hiked in Hawaii on her repaired foot does have one complaint. I can't wear nice shoes anymore and I have to wear, you know, orthopedic shoes or New Balance shoes or I would just love to have a nice pair of shoes. That's the only thing. Pam has to be diligent about monitoring her blood sugars to keep her lower limbs healthy. When her levels get too high, she actually starts to feel pain in her feet. Back to you.